everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and we're going to do EIGRP neighbor statements, which is a way to send unicast updates between routers. So we're looking at Topology Zero, which is our two routers. Everything is already loaded up with my IP addresses. I'm going to simply start EIGRP on both routers, and here's router one. So enable conf t router EIGRP one, no auto, and then we'll use a wildcard network statement of all zeros. So that starts EIGRP on router one. Then we're going to start EIGRP on router two. Router EIGRP one, no auto, and then network of all zeros. And we're going to let them talk to each other. And you can see we have our neighbor adjacency up. And we verify things by show IP protocols. And you can see everything is pretty much normal. Now this is pretty much how you would configure EIGRP normally. And if I do a debug IP packet, we can see the updates passing back and forth. And since this is a fast ethernet line, it should be every five seconds. So we'll let that run a couple seconds and then I'll do a U all to stop the debugs. All right, so we're on router two and you can see updates coming from router one. So that's 10.10.12.1, which is this side of the link. And you can see the multicast address of 224.0.0.10. And then you can see here is 10.10.12.2. This is us sending stuff out towards router one. And of course, router one, if I ran the debug on router one, I would see sort of the reverse thing. Router two would be sending stuff towards me, and then 10, 10, 12, one would be sending stuff outbound. Okay, so now let's do a show IP EIGP neighbor, and we should see our buddy here, 10, 10, 12, zero. So everything is doing great. Let's see what happens if I do a neighbor statement just on one side. So we'll go back into router EIGRP1 and we'll do a neighbor statement 10, 10, 12, 1. Let's see if anything comes out behind it. Yes, we have to type in some stuff. We have to specify the outbound interface. So fast 0 slash 0. So basically what we're saying is we have a neighbor coming out of fast 0, 0 and it's on this side of the link with the IP address of 10.10.12.1. Let's see if anything comes behind that and nothing. So we can hit enter right there. We'll wait a couple seconds and you can already see our neighbor is down. We show IP protocols. We have nothing. If we show IP ERGP topology, we've got ourselves 2222, that's our loopback. 10, 10, 12, 0, and we already know about that. Let's show IP route, and we have nothing towards router 1. Okay, so you can see when you do neighbor statement just on one side, your router connection is going to drop, and it's going to drop on the R2 side. R1 is still trying to connect with router 2, but nothing is happening. R2 is not responding back. Okay, so let's go over to R1. Let's run a, let's just do a show IP route on R1 and you can see we have no EIGRP routes in the regular routing table. If I show IP EIGRP topology, you can see I've got myself and this link, which I already know about. Let's do a debug. I'm curious to see what is coming down the wire. We'll let that run a couple seconds. You all. Okay, so we are getting something. Here we go. We are getting something from router 2, 10, 10, 12, 2. So that looks pretty good. It's coming from the other side. But as you notice, instead of the standard 224.0.0.10, Instead of that, we're getting a unicast address of 10.10.12.1. Okay, so no more multicast, it is unicast. So if we go over to R1, router EIGRP, and let's set the neighbor over here, 
10, 10, 12, 2. Whoops. Hit the up arrow, fast, 0, 0. We always have to specify the outbound interface. Exit out of there. And with any luck, you can see our neighbor adjacency comes back up. Do a show IP protocols just to verify things. We've got everything. Everything looks pretty kosher. 10, 10, 12, 2. That looks good. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. And you can see there, 10, 10, 12, 2. Everything's good. Show IP. Let's do show IP route. Hey, we have a D route to the loopback of router 2, all 2s. I'll just ping it for kicks. And we can see that it pings. Pretty awesome. Let's do the debug now to show what's going on. So debug IP packet. Let it run for about 10 seconds or so. And we are going to stop. Okay. So you can see here outbound from myself, 10, 10, 12, 1. It is hitting 10, 10, 12, 2. There is no multicast in that one. And in fact, if I look through here, we've got a multicast, 224.0.0.10, but this is going out the loopback interface, which is fine because we did not set any uh, neighbor statement on that interface. And of course, everything else looks good. If I do a debug IP packet on R2, we should see the only multicast on this will be going outbound on the loopback 2222. So let's debug IP packet there. Let it run for a couple seconds and you all to stop it. And you can see here, here we go. 2222 and destination 2240010, which is the multicast for EIGRP. And that makes sense. No multicast is coming from R1. And also no multicast is going outbound towards R1. Okay, so that was a quick video on the neighbor statements into EIGRP. What you found out is that if you just set the neighbor statement on one side, the connection, the neighbor adjacency will drop. And you also found out that the neighbor statement will kill multicast updates from the router. Thanks for watching.